We are here with Ryan Wells, number 94B in the GNC2 class. Uh, Ryan, I'm trying to get you comfortable here. Is yeah. this all right for an interview setting? Totally uncomfortable. Why? Too close. Way too close. Is this, is this better? I'm good right here. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, where are you from and how old are you? From Albion, New York, 20 years old. Just uh, about an hour, 45 minutes away from a rolling wheel speedway here. Do you like New York? Don't like New York at all. <laughs> I do not want to be here. But it's cool to race in front of people I know, so that's cool. Okay. Is everybody from upstate New York as pale as you? I think pretty much everybody in New York is as pale as me. If you find somebody uh, tan in New York, give me their number. I need to get their secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you currently living? Right now, living in uh, about 30 minutes from Flint, Michigan. Just training up there with them guys and uh, being close to my team and just trying to make it the best of both worlds, being close to the people I'm racing for and people I'm training with and everything like that. So we've seen you over the past few years kind of get more serious and get better results. Well, has that been your plan? This year, just put it together with a whole good program with people and uh, eating better, training, just, you know, it's just all the little things really come together, Thunder, and I think that's what's making a difference for me this year. <laughs> One time you came up in the pits and you told me you have the best personality in the entire flat track scene. Is that true? I'd like to think it is true, Thunder. I feel like I'm a very personality-filled person and I uh, would like to resemble myself as a jelly-filled donut. Can never get enough of it. What are your favorite things to do off the bike? Off the bike, I like riding mountain bikes. I don't really uh, enjoy the training aspect of it, but riding mountain bikes is fun. Play some ping pong, do some swimming. I like just hanging out. I can do nothing better than anybody, I promise you. <laughs> Anything that's fun and involves coordination? Exactly, well even the uncoordinated part, like I can lay on a couch all day and not even think twice about it. <laughs> Tell me about your team this year. Parkinson Brothers Racing, just a team out of Michigan. They've won the GNC2 championship past four out of, three out of four years, and just awesome group of people. Just called me up at the end of last year and couldn't turn them down. It was just the best opportunity I've ever had. Ryan, you're leading the GNC2 championship by 57 points, and you have three wins. Is there a specific strategy you have to finish the year off, or are you just trying to show up to every race and, and do the best you can? Yeah, it's me and my team have talked about that a lot, and if you're just trying not to focus on the championship at the end, we figure you race race by race and just try to do as well as you can at every race and try to win as many races as you can, and championship will come. So that's what we're, we're going to do, and uh, I want to win in front of my hometown, home state crowd, so that's the goal for this weekend. Ryan, you could clinch the GNC2 championship anytime in the next three races. What does that mean to you personally? Just, it's huge. I mean, I've gone for this championship for so long now, and to finally think that it's in my near future is just huge. And I, I thought about it like on the way here. It's like, man, I could win my first professional championship after five years of trying and struggling tomorrow. So it's just awesome, and it would be exciting as heck for me to do in front of my home state and everybody that's helped get me this far and everybody that loves and supports me. So that's the biggest thing for me. Well, Ryan, I know a lot of people in the stands are cheering for you, especially at this race. I'm cheering for you. I hope the next time we fist pound, it's after you clinch your GNC2 championship. That's all I've been thinking about, man.